everybody. Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow. Elric Ferris here with my co-host today, JJ, once again from ASUS. And I know everybody out there always wants to get the most out of their connectivity. And there's all kinds of products out there to buy that can confuse the heck out of you of what you want to need. Now, these two products in my hand, one works on USB, one works by Ethernet. And these things actually give you really unbelievable range when it comes to using your in-home or in-business wireless connectivity. So I'm going to hop over and I'm going to let JJ explain some of the differences of these two products to you. And I'll do kind of a different little thing here. The first one I have in my hand right here, I have the wireless N900. So I'm first going to just basically give you guys kind of a quick unboxing. So there's not a lot in these things anyways. So I'm just going to pull the little thing out here. There's all the stuff inside the box. And then I got this little thing in my hand, whoops, dropped a piece that kind of looks like the building at the LAX. So first up, I'm going to hand over this one to JJ and he'll explain some better features of this thing to you good folks. So here you go, JJ, have the little mind control unit. Thanks. Uh, so actually, as you were noting, this is actually the USB version. So this is the USB uh, N66. And this is actually a 3x3 type receiver. Uh, so that means it's a 450 megabits. So there's actually three antennas that are actually underneath this kind of like little dome architecture. And what this was really kind of enabled at giving you is the best overall, like you said, range and throughput and signal stability. So for users that are considering a high performance router, maybe like our RTN uh, 65, 66, or even new AC models, this is kind of going to go hand in hand with that unit really giving you the highest level of throughput and performance. Um, and the great thing that you have is that you're actually going to have some additional functionality. If you take a look here at the back of the unit, you've got a, sim a simple USB connection that you make with the cable included inside the box. Two options in terms of the power profile, because not all USB ports can provide the maximum power output needed to give you the best range and signal stability. So there's going to be a standard mode that you can go ahead and run this in, as well as there's a high powered mode that you can go ahead and run this in. Now, is there also any options at all, this, like plugging any additional power, or is it strictly just USB power? It's strictly USB powered, but in addition to the functionality of working outside of just a basic USB receiver, you can go ahead and install the software and allow this to work as a software access point. So it can actually serve as two different devices, a high performance wireless adapter uh, that is supported under Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, as well as also that software access point to go ahead and actually just create a wireless signal for you. So awesome choice for users looking for the highest performance USB-based solution. So with that, let's uh, maybe take a look at the EAN66. Alrighty then. So let's jump to the next one, folks. You guys can see kind of a similar box again. I'll just go ahead and pop the cap on that. Now this one comes in a plastic case, a little bit different than the other one. One of the things that's really cool is I know everybody out there is always looking for stuff that like really looks good. Now this thing looks good. I mean, these both kind of look the same. Let me just, whoops, I throw stuff across the floor there. Here's what comes in the box. You can see the cables inside of there, the instruction manual. Not a lot, because it's pretty really simple and easy to use. Yeah, there and is a power adapter that's not right there in the box, but it does course come included with a power adapter. Oh, okay, so just while I'm watching that, folks, it does come with a power adapter. Now, you can see, this thing's really neat looking. It'll sit on a desk, and I guarantee you that if you just sit on your desk, somebody walks by, they're going to ask you, what in the heck is that thing on your desk? This one opposes the other one, hooks up to the Ethernet, and it does have a power cable. And then after that, I'll hand it back over to JJ once again so we can give you some of the finer details of this new product. So this one is still a 450 megabits adapter, just like this one. So designed for super high-end performance, but it's going to actually be able to allow for some additional functionality. Because it's Ethernet-based, it's more focused at different types of connectivity. So imagine maybe you've got an Xbox, a PS3, maybe a television, maybe a receiver. They could all have Ethernet ports, but maybe you need to have better wireless connectivity for those devices. Maybe you're looking for low-latency games. Maybe you're streaming, you know, Hulu or Netflix on one of those devices. Um, you know, maybe you're streaming over photos, sharing videos, whatever it might be. This is going to really allow you to have a high degree of flexibility at being able to connect it to all kinds of different systems. So 100%, you could totally use this on like a fixed desktop, maybe on the second floor or on the back end of your house where you need better range, better throughput, better signal stability. But you can totally connect it to tons of other devices. Um, now, the great thing is no software is required here. It's all plug and play. You're just essentially going to connect this Ethernet connection to an Ethernet port on a system. You go through, you set up the setup configuration process, and then that is permanently stored inside here. So even if I, let's say, maybe have it set up on my uh, you know, desktop, but then I want to go ahead and move it over to my console, there's nothing I need to do. I just ha just unplug it, reposition it, plug it back in, and that's it, because it's all stored inside of the actual unit. This will be a really great product for someone who lives in a dorm or something like that at college. Mm -hmm. Great product, especially if they can get all their streaming and everything. And we tested these out last night, and I'll bring you guys actually a written review and stuff, but it actually really did improve stuff quite a bit. We went in and we did a speed test thing, and we hooked this up. It got much better numbers, and the numbers were much more stable across the board. Also, we had some kind of action tech router. JJ, we brought one of the routers. You can hop over and check out that video in the description below. This router actually blew my mind, and we'll be bringing that as well. So all these products combined lead to one really very fast and stable wireless universe. 
Yeah, and uh, you know, just to round things out in terms of some of the functionality, outside of this one, which is more focused, the USB model just being in a wireless receiver and, like I said, a software access point, this one would serve as a wireless adapter, an access point, or uh, an actual extender. So you can so use, use it as a repeater. Yes, you a repeater or extender to be able to go ahead and further the actual range of a pre-existing wireless end router. So, so let, me, really let me just awesome explain it real quick to the users. So if you guys don't really get what that means, so say that you live in a giant size house, in the very back of your house is for some reason where your router and stuff is. You can hook your router up and then put this device in the middle of your house to extend the signal further through your house so everybody in the whole house has good connectivity. And then little mommy and you know your daughters and family will be happy and not complain going, we can't hook up. Sounds good, boss. So we'll see you guys later. Have fun.